Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scout coming to you guys with part 3 of Crash Bandicoot the Huge Adventure. So before we get started, uh, if there's any cuts in the video, it's because I have a touch of the stomach flu and yeah, it's not fun. So anyways, let's do Snow Job, which is very resemblant of an adult uh, thing people do in the bedroom. So yeah, all you kids out there, I apologize if you guys know what it means, but... Trust me, Crash Bandicoot has always had those weird little naughty, goofy titles, level names, whatever you want to call it. Also, I did not mean to fall off the ice there, or fall off the cliff. I feel like the jumping is very delayed in this game, like I've mentioned before. And even so, a lot of YouTubers find that, like when I watch their videos. Two, and three, and a four, and a five. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, I always forget I have double jump now. I actually... I, why did I say I always forget? Like, I'm pretty sure we literally just got it now. Like, at the end of last episode. I, and I'm recording this the day after I recorded those first two episodes, so it's not like it's a super long time after. Not like, you know, between times of actually recorded videos. Oh, can you get those for me, please, bro? Yep. Okay. I'll risk the damage. Thank you for giving me another chance to redeem myself their game. I feel like I remember this level more than the others. I remember the... Oh, can you destroy those? Oh, thank you. Whoa. Okay. 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 I was about to say, like, everything... Everything got thrown off track there. Alright, you know what? Okay, that is extremely BS because there's no movement time whatsoever, so I'm gonna have to go really slow here and... Right. Whew! Hopefully there's not a lot of boxes throughout here. Hey, I got my life back after I lost... Oh! The checkpoint was right there! Oh man, this part right here is absolutely nuts. Like the part right after the checkpoint. Wait, what killed me? Oh, thank you. You gave me an Aku Aku. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use the invincibility time there to go through like that. I don't get the one up this time. Sad. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was my bad. That was my bad. I totally should have jumped when I didn't. Like, the fact that you gotta hold down B to get away from him, but then, like, there's, like, no good time to actually hold B lately. Oh, shite! Oh, there was a, a whatchamacallit, a mine there to save me, and oh, I think that was the end. Yep. We are out of there! Checkpoint! Oh, yeah, we did it. The checkpoint is ours. You know, I always find it funny that YouTube wants us all to be, like, E-rated, but at the same time, there's still YouTubers out there, big YouTubers, that make a ton of money that say swears or talk about sex and this and that and just raunchy stuff, and they're still fine. Like, why do us? Darn it! Why do us small YouTubers seem to be the ones getting targets? Like, I, I and when I mean small, I mean people under fifty thousand. Like, to YouTube, that's considered small, and I feel like anyone under that gets screwed over by YouTube. Like, I swear I always fall off the ice in one spot or another, you know? Well, at least now I know that there's actually something there to cause harm to us. Hey, bonus! I almost forgot that this thing existed. But yeah, like, YouTube likes to screw over people, and, I, and I'm not hating on YouTube itself. Like, I think YouTube's cool allowing us to do stuff in general. But the fact that they allowed so many people to have benefits for so long and then just randomly take them away from those who probably deserve them more than the others, like, oh look, I'm a guy who says racist remarks. I am still on YouTube making a million a year. Or, well, yeah, but I, I calculated too about like people like PewDiePie and Markiplier, they almost bring in close to a million a year if they get about a million views per video and they upload more than one video a day. Well, PewDiePie brings in about 3 million views a video, so... 
Yeah, so they get paid well over a million a year, and it's like... There are people out there trying to work their butts off to help people out in life, and they don't get paid a dime. I think it's just so awful. Like, I've been hurting for work for four years. And because I haven't worked in so long, nobody wants to hire me. Like, literally... Wait, what? What? Where are the two boxes? Oh, there was no nitro switch! Oh my god, I gotta lure the darn bear into them. But like I said, um... There's not really a lot out there for me, and... There are people who... I had an interview with that ended up hiring s that did, well I guess they didn't really hire either they hired somebody and it fell through or they didn't hire anybody and just posted an ad again but literally two days after I never got my phone call back that I was promised uh, they posted another ad and I contacted them again and again just to be ignored going to the store nothing there I never told my girlfriend that I didn't go to why did you just walk into the enemy like, I didn't tell my girlfriend that I walked into the store, but I did, and yeah, I was disappointed. Anyways, back to the game. Enough ramblings from my really bad personal life. Um, I, I totally knew that was going to happen. You cannot get 100% here. Not yet. Not until you have every ability, I believe. I think this is also the really hard to get... Um, color or uh, clear gem. I almost fell for it again. In this game, you barely have any time to do that because I believe we still need Death Tornado Spin, and then I believe the last ability we get. Wait, did we get a? Didn't we like get? What was our first ability? Oh, Super Body Slam. I keep thinking it was like the Super Slide, but I believe the Super Slide is in the second game. Sadly enough. I will also be starting the third LP that I promised. Like, I promised to have, like, three LPs ongoing so you guys don't get stale of one. Like, I see that with a lot of LPs, is if you only have one going on at a time, they get very stale. Like, a lot of the big Nintendo YouTubers out there do that, where they're like, yeah, I'll play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Now, not saying it's a bad game and it wouldn't bring in viewers, but it really doesn't after you know you have like 50 videos of it in a row with nothing else and I'm not including like update videos or anything like that those don't count so yeah you need to go down there to get the uh, the second clear gem but yeah it's complete and utter BS you know like how how things work yeah and see you need to then do stuff down there and it's just so difficult Okay, another checkpoint, so we're safe going throughout our space. So yeah, I'm honestly trying to start like a yard work business. I don't drive, so at first it's going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, I honestly almost just want to land on that for the checkpoint, but I'm pretty sure there's a checkpoint close by. There always is when it comes to bonuses. I feel like bonuses are always close to a checkpoint, but maybe in this case it's not. Maybe it's close to the ending. Also, I found that there are a lot of lives like that in this level. Just like, hiding underneath the TNT. Alright. Yeah, that did not turn out the way I wanted it to. So yeah, we're almost 10 minutes in and we're only on level 2. Like, level level 1 took... Eh, we're what? Level, level 11. Didn't take 2. Oh, maybe... Maybe we can actually get 100%, but... All I'm here for is to get the checkpoint from stepping on that, I believe. I believe you get the checkpoint if you fail it. Either way, we're still close to where we were. Uh, it still smells like manure. There's still a fire about 50... Is it 150 kilometers away from where I live? Like, it's still fairly close if you think of it. Please don't land. On the fire dumbbells, please. Alright, there we go. We beat the space level, Ace of Space. Anyways, let's do Sunken City, which has the green gem, which I do believe we're allowed to get. And I believe it's just going back this way, yeah. So it's kind of like the red gem in Crash 3, if you guys remember how we had to, like, backtrack for that. 
Yeah, that didn't... I did not turn out the way I wanted to. Can you just... Okay, you can just boop it with your nose and you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I'm playing so bad today. But like I said, I have a really bad stomach ache, so I'm not really in the mood for gaming. But I am at the same time. I could say it's a weird conundrum. Oh, so you're gonna... You're gonna play this shenanigan a lot, eh? We're gonna have, like, over a fifth of the boxes here already. Yeah, we have about, what? 25%, 20, 40... We have almost 50%. Yeah, we almost have 50%. Yeah, okay, you can kill the squids in this. Always remind me of Squidge, though, you know, from Donkey Kong Country. I will be playing Donkey Kong Country on this channel. I never realized that I didn't play Donkey Kong Country. I played Donkey Kong Country... Uh, 2 on the Game Boy and 3 on the Game Boy. But I never played 1 through 3 on the SNES, so I will be playing it. If you guys are wondering where Donkey Kong Land 2 is, I found that Let's Play of mine was really poor. I mean, it could be done a lot better, so I stopped it. And I'm like, well, we should do Donkey Kong Land 1 first. That's why I'm doing this and not... Crash 2 and Trance, which is probably my preferred of the two games, though it does have a lot of those atmosphere levels that, honestly, I'm not fond of. Also, do, do I have any texts? No, I'm like sitting here like, when was it my girlfriend's texting me in these 11 minutes and I have an answer, but no. So I finally got my monk on. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of a tickle there, kind of interrupting what I was going to say. I finally got my monk to level 110 on World of Warcraft. Took a lot of work, time, and effort, but he's finally there. Now, I really, really, really need to buy boa gear. Well, I have boa gear up to level 100, but should really buy it for leveling through Legion as well because it's such a hassle. Like, I had gear ready at 110, so I was instantly like item level 850 by that point. Oh wait, that was the checkpoint, right? I like. I got stuck there. I'm like, no, 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 no. Okay, that was better. Oh, a mine. I feel like the mines, though, are honestly the biggest threat in this type of level. But, like, the bow gear increases all experience gained by 10% via each piece that has it. And I believe there are four pieces that give it to you. Uh, chest, pants, well, chest, legs, shoulder, and back, I believe, are the ones that give you the uh, boost to your experience. And trust me, like, it is really needed. The weapons, not so much. Like, I really feel like you don't need the weapons, because you do get your artifact weapon. Uh, you guys are probably lost in what I'm saying, but you do get an artifact weapon. And yeah, you don't really need the weapon, but you definitely should get the gear, even though it's slightly weaker than a lot of the stuff that you get throughout leveling in that zone. It's certainly certainly does help you, you know, level through and beat the stuff faster. And there we go, there is the gem and we go through the Mario pipe to beat the level. Anyways, down the hole. Yeah, more of this jungle music. And how many boxes? Probably a lot. Yep. All these boxes, so delicious. So nutritious. Man, I haven't actually talked about the game that we're playing in such a long time. Oh. Oh, that is a very long blind jump there, man. Well, nearly blind. It's not really blind, it's nearly blind, which makes it just as bad as a blind jump. Woohoo! That lizard is trapped. Let's put it out of its misery. Checkpoint. Oh, sweet, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, just for some boxes, but still, no, not much of a, an issue doing that. Okay, can I like... Okay, that works. Sometimes, like, spinning the crate underneath the TNT doesn't detonate it, so I was kind of worried. And also, we're going into a tunnel. Not necessarily a hole, we're going into a tunnel. Also, we got a lot of blow dart guys here. Wait, are we going down or up? I'm confused. What way am I supposed to be going here? Okay, that way's a death pit, so I'm assuming this way is just for boxes? Oh, it is. That did not turn out the way I wanted to, but I think we did it. 
Oh, we actually have to detonate this one, okay. We'll wait here patiently. 32 and a 97, guys, we are doing good. I think that was the longest time I ever played a video game for YouTube without actually talking about the game. I hope you guys don't mind. I know a lot of YouTubers do that, but... Woohoo! I knew that was safe. Actually, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think that was actually over the ground, so... Wait a minute. Okay, you know what? Screw you, dick. Pardon the dick, but his name could actually be Dick. Oh, okay, that's how I get it. I had seen the life over there, and I wasn't sure how to get it. Remind me if I... I actually, you guys can't remind me. I was going to say, remind me what if I die to just grab that again. But yeah, you guys can't really remind me. Best bet is to do that, and then do this. And then just hop on the one that you want to destroy just in case. As for these two, it's a little more annoying, but there we go. Ooh, free one-up. That would suck if there was TNT or Nitro there. And you weren't actually supposed to do it that way. That would suck so bad. Oh, we could add invincibility here. Also, you can't body slam it from up there. That's good to know. I believe there is a hidden box around here. Uh, I believe it's with um, some of the blow dart guys. I think we'll start running into them again. Okay, nothing hidden up here. Good to know. A lot of these are going to be nitro, though. Oh, TNT. Oh, there's the bonus. I think this might actually be the very difficult bonus. So is there anything over here I can grab before doing that? Well, I guess I'll detonate this. Nothing up there, so let's go back. You know, so we can use that TNT as a box that we never have to get again. Use it as a box we never have to get again. That makes no sense. Actually, this one might not be that bad. I'm not entirely sure. I swear that was one of the ice levels. Might have been the last ice level that we went to that was difficult. I think the other light like, ice level before that was the really easy one. Also, yeah. Boink, boink, boink. Boink, boink, Alright, All right, now we gotta go back, which isn't the worst thing, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just have to jump on that once, because if you leave them alone, they break after you jump on them. If not, they have five consecutive hits to destroy. I feel like this one was a lot more difficult than I remembered. Okay, those rests gotta be Nitro. Oh no, I think it's the Nitro switch that's a little out of the way. And that might be what I was thinking about. Ah oh, yeah, see, it's right above this guy's head. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. How much of the level is there still? Oh, come on, dude. That was a royal pain in the butt. Oh yeah. Last level, Blimp Bonanza. Let's go. Ooh, an evening level. <clears throat> My throat's a little fiery. I'll have to grab a little bit of a drink after this level. 41. They have a level like this in the second game. That's literally this, but you're Coco and you're running from the sun. Uh, I feel like the graphics on that are worse. It's also slower pace, you shoot slower, and it's just dumb, like, get away from the sun before it kills you. No one ever dies by the sun, I don't even know if it's possible. I've never honestly died by the sun. See, the problem with barrel rolling is you get stuck for a bit. Also rockets, or fireworks, I guess. Not really rockets. Oh yeah, we have to die. Can you guys kill me? Guys, can you kill me? I just have to die here. Okay, can you kill me while I drink some root beer? Check my phone. Eh, they do only 10%. Actually, they don't. They only do 6. Alright, thank you. Sheesh. That took way too long to die. 
Honestly, when you're trying to die, these levels are extremely difficult to die in. They really are. And, and no one knows why. Alright. Probably did a little bit of an edit there. I had to speed up, had some shenanigans and errands to do. But now we're rocking black, we have to sack. I think I focused too much on the enemies half the time. Ow. Okay, see, they did 10% there. Now they're doing 4 and 2. And... Oh, yeah, I was too focused on the rockets coming up and destroying me. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Way better. I believe the blimps also take a little... Have to take a little more damage to blow up compared to the first ones, I think. Maybe not. I know a lot of later uh, games, things get more difficult via that way, too. There we go. That should get us there at checkpoint. Oh, instant rockets and instant double health. Really? You really expect me to lose that much, much health at that one point? Sheesh. They have no faith in us gamers, do they? Then again, I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, no, this is why... It wasn't even... Whoa, that was way too... Whoa, 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 so many enemies. At least they give you lots of health. Like, I mean, lots of health. They're, that's all they seem to be giving you for boxes. Can you guys, like, please screw off for more than... Th three seconds, please? Like, I get that they don't do a lot of damage, but come on. That is absolutely crazy. So, apparently my sister is having a, a baby girl, which is cool and all, but... I don't know, she's not really that good with kids in my opinion. Like, all her friends and family think she is, but... She's like a major texter and driver, speeder, always on her phone type person. Didn't really watch him when he was a baby and stuff, so... You know? No, the box is lost forever! Alright, I think there's only one more blimp, so we're gonna have all the boxes in this last little segment. Hopefully that one that we shot down funny counts. Oh no, please don't hit me. I'm not talking about the other things, I'm talking about the plane kamikaze into me. Whoa, whoa, 6 HP! No, 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 stay No, come on! It homed in and shot up at me. Whoa, you're not allowed to move for the first little bit? That's weird. And kind of mean. Okay. Can you guys, like, stop with the hitting me, please? Like, you can't honestly destroy them all. Not without taking too much damage if you want to try and shoot them. Because, like, you'll be in their, in their line of sight at that point. Whoa, can you actually not block my shots and just die? Thank you. Thank you, bombs. Bombs Morgley, you are now destroyed. I don't even know who Bombs Morgley would be. Oh, thank you, some health. Times two. Oh yeah, good, we got everything. Oh, Lord Almighty. Yeah. I'd be the worst pilot in existence. I really would be. Dun, da da dun 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 da da dun dun. Now I don't believe the boss of this world is too difficult. It's probably one of the more difficult of all the bosses, but it shouldn't be too bad. Like seriously. Oh, I'm like one finally hit me. And there we go. We beat the level. Woohoo! Now let's go take on Tiny Tiger! The boss that always comes back. So yeah, it's kind of like the Crash 3 fight, but different. Now the leaves mean that he's gonna come up there, you know? Okay, so I got stuck. I call utter BS on that, you know? Okay, come on, Tiny. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, bye, Tiny. And I believe he hits that one up there. Oh, shite. And see, he's not that bad. And there's the Death Tornado Spin, or in this game, just Tornado Spin. Push B repeatedly to spin longer and temporarily float. Eh. Cortex! I knew this would happen! Crash has defeated three of your stooges! He must be stopped! I will not tolerate another failure! Uka, I'm sorry. However, do not be overly concerned. My planetary minimizer will stop him, even though we're already strong. And they're actually in the hub world of Crash 3, by the way. So anyways, in the next episode, we'll start doing World 4, the final world, and let's see the levels. Star to finish, air supply, no fly zone, drip, 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 and final countdown. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to leave a big ol' fat like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace!